Hello and welcome back and today we want to utilize the brand new Synology DS1819 Plus and perform a speed test utilizing the popular Sonnet Thunderbolt 3 to 10 GBE adapter. Now uh, the Solo 10G from Sonnet we've talked about on the channel before and what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a speed test connecting this device via bus power via Thunderbolt 3 USB-C through the adapter into the 10 GBE port. Uh, that we've added to our 1019 plus now the 1019 plus does not arrive with a 10 gigabit ethernet slot but what it does arrive with is a pcie slot where we've used the synology e10g g18-t1 it's a one port card and we're going to be utilizing a direct form of connection utilizing this adapter to show you just how easy it is to set up a speed test uh, to set up editing on this Synology NAS with your Thunderbolt 3 port to 10 GBE. So first things first, once you connect the two devices together, they will be, they'll pop up immediately. Thunderbolt, your driver should be up to date, but it, um, so it should pop up immediately, but if it doesn't, you always need to update your Thunderbolt ports. But apart from that, there's no other drivers needed. Uh, once you've got them connected, and use the Synology Assistant program to search your local area network, you'll see that the NAS would have appeared, thanks to the adapter, at a different IP to what you would have expected for an external IP because this is an internal IP so not 192 or 194 this is 169 we double click that and make our way into the device and we can log into the user interface of our DS1819 plus now we've used this for some other videos and we're going to be doing hopefully a black magic speed test and AJA speed test as well so there you go, just let you know, we'll go into the device, go straight into the control panel and show you the um, connections. So if we go for, uh, da, 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 we want the wireless connectivity, don't we? I always forget every time. There's our network interfaces, so you've got the usual LAN connection, 234. We've got a 1GBE connection running externally. So if you have a look, there it is, using 194. And there's our 10 gigabit Ethernet connection there. As you can see, it's a uh, 10,000 megabits, in other words, um, that's a 10 GBE lowercase b. So next thing we need to do is we've got four SSDs installed inside this device, and what we're going to do is create uh, a new shared folder and make that into a mapped net, um, network drive, and anyone that wants to edit files over the network via the adapter will need to do this. So if we do this as SSD RAID 0 test, and this will be on the other pool we've got available so for some reason oh we've still got to create a volume of course actually this would be quite handy for you guys to see this what we need to do is now go into the storage manager where i earlier on created a raid zero using four ssds but we still need to create a volume so there's a storage pool non-utilized and what we need to very quickly do is create an available volume of storage using our existing storage pool. So there we are, there's our storage pool tool. It's a RAID 0, no write protection because there's no redundancy on a RAID 0. We'll set that to the maximum available space. We'll set it as BTRFS, why not? And we'll set up our volume utilizing our four SSDs. Uh, for those that are wondering, these are 250 gigabyte Samsung 860 Evos. And now we've created our volume. Let's see if it needs any optimization. No, it's created. So now when we go back into here to create that shared folder again, again we'll call it SSD RAID 0 test. The volume's created, there it is. We won't bother with a recycle bin, we just want to make this nice and quick. We won't bother encrypting it. Of course you can enable encryption and data, protect, um, data integrity checks and stuff in the background if you want to do that. But for this speed test we're not going to be so thorough. Uh, we're going to let all users have access to it. And now we've got our SSD RAID 0. So that's all done. Uh, next thing we, you want to do if you want to create a map to network drive, and I know we've done this on the channel before, but I do think it's worth reminding everyone. Um, go back to the Synology Assistant, go to Map Drive, enter the login credentials for the NAS, head forward, it will find it, then there's the shared folder we've created. We'll, get, we'll call this drive T, got some other ones there from old videos. We'll open that map to network drive straight away. So now we've got our RAID 0 test area that's got four SSDs that we're connected to via 10GBE. 
So let's run some tests, shall we? So first things first, let's do the AJA speed test. So from here, we're going to select target T. And again, we could rig the test a little bit and do smaller files, but for now we're going to do one gig files, a big size there, and we're going to start the read-write test now. So that's going to be a single um, spread over those disks. And again, this is a RAID 0 with four SSDs. And it's going to do a continuous test now, where it's just going to flick through time and time again. But do remember that these speeds you're looking at here are because we're using one gigabyte test files. So ideally designed video files, what would happen with the read and write there? And again, you will in these tests generally see a higher write unless you move things down. So we're seeing a consistent read write of about 400 of there, somewhere between 160 down to 150 at one point or another. And now what we're going to do is lower everything to the barest minimum. So we're going to do not 1080p, one gig files. We're going to do real straightforward, real easy, low end files. Run those tests again. Unfortunately, they're too small that we're getting a half decent write out of the device. So we can run that there, we can do file for frames, we can do all the different tests in here. So again, the results that you get will change depending on the setting environment you choose. So obviously we're doing quite bespoke tests here. Quick one, that's going to go straight back up to 400 there in that RAID 0 environment. And do remember that we are connected via SATA, so there will always be those limitations. RAID should hopefully take care of that. Um, but with, without more SSDs in a bigger RAID environment, things are going to sort of cap out in this way. So now if we do a black magic speed test, for those that are more familiar with this program, we'll make our way into the drive that we created, T. There's our SSD RAID test there. We'll do the one gig again. And we're getting around about the same speed once again. And again, this gives you the ability to have an external storage array with which you can edit on. If you were using faster SSD, such as NVMe based SSD, or if you were using a larger scale of SSDs in a more comprehensive RAID environment, such as a RAID 10, um, then you would see higher speeds as well. Uh, but what we can also do, the final thing before we wrap things up on this Sonic, test, uh, Sonic and Synology test device, is why don't we do some file drops? into this. So what we'll do is we'll exit this test right here, come out of there, make our way into a bulk area there. Going to grab a whole pile of files here, copy, and we're just going to do standard file transfer technique of just dumping that in there. As you can see we're getting those consistent read writes of around 350, 360. Uh, and picking up a little bit higher as some of those files get smaller and bigger but it all averages out pretty well in the end and for those that want to edit files over 10 GPE this is going to be hugely advantageous don't get me wrong you're not getting Thunderbolt 3 speeds because of course you are connected over 10 gigabit Ethernet 10 GBE but it's still nice to know that you can access and edit large files on to, uh, via a Synology NAS thanks to the Sonic adapter here we've got on the table. I will be doing other tests with other adapters in the coming days and weeks. Do check out those, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something useful from this video, and I'll see you next time.